Hi everyone, Abby here from Mozalingua. Welcome to our new series of English grammar hacks. Wait, I know what you're thinking. English grammar equals hard, not fun. But before you leave me, give me a chance to explain why English grammar is easy and definitely worth learning. English has some weird pronunciation rules, but the grammar aspect of the language is actually much easier. All you need is a positive attitude towards grammar and an awareness of what makes English grammar easy compared to other languages. First of all, in English, you generally just need to add an S to the end of a word to get its plural form. One cat, two cats. One friend, for friends. Okay, I know that there are some irregular plurals, like women and children, but I promise there aren't too many. Second, English has no grammatical genders. This is a big one, because you don't have to worry about whether objects like tables or bottles are masculine or feminine. That doesn't even make much sense anyway. They're just objects. This aspect makes English easier than a lot of languages like French, Spanish, Portuguese, and Italian, which distinguish between masculine and feminine, and German, which has three genders. This leads into my next point, which is that there is no adjective agreement either. This means that if there is one new car, or a million new cars, the word new will always be written the same way. Cases are variations of words depending on their functions in sentences. In Russian, for example, there are six different cases, and four in German. This means that when you learn a new word in these languages, you need to memorize several variations to be able to use them in different situations. No need for that in English. When you learn a word in English, your job is done. You only have one form. The last thing I want to talk about today is how simple it is to conjugate verbs in English. It's true that there are a couple different tenses you need to memorize, but they're relatively simple compared to other languages. There are usually just one or two variations you need to memorize to be able to express your ideas. In English, you only need two forms for the present. I'll give you an example. I listen, you listen, we listen, they listen, or he or she listens. Adding an S for a few persons does the trick in most cases. Do you want to talk about the future? Then you just need the word will before the infinitive form of the verb. I will listen. Need to talk about something in the past? Just add ed to the end. For our example, listen, this works for all forms. I listened, you listened, he or she listened, they listened, we listened. Of course, there are some common irregular verbs, but in an upcoming video, I'll give you a language hack to memorize those in no time. Now, I hope I've convinced you that compared to many languages, probably even including your native language, English grammar is easy. If you want to get a more in-depth look at this topic and practice with some exercises, check out what we've prepared for you below. You'll see that our approach focuses on the 20% of grammar you need to get by in 80% of situations. Before you go, I encourage you to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on the rest of our English grammar hacks in this series. Happy learning and see you next time.